Welcome once again to Yoga Express. My name is Banu. I'm your host for this program. We have the same team this time in our control room, our crew, Nuriel Exilazo and Lucas Veloso. Thank you so much for staying there with us. Ryan Stillwagon, responsible for the studio lights and the sound system. Opening music, the three ohms and the Shiva's drums that you hear in the beginning is from a CD called Saptatandava. And uh, if you want to visit their website, too, it's kalakriya.com. You'll see it at the end of the credits today. Body music, the drum beat, which is supposed to emulate your heartbeat, always trying to keep it constant and consistent, is by Cesar Dakara. Cesar, thank you so much for creating this just for Yoga Express. At my request and at the request of my crew, we have Melissa Boo back here in the studios with us. Melissa, thank you so much. I really enjoyed the workout last weekend as we were talking immediately after. The pacing was just perfect for my body. I know younger people, more able people may prefer something faster, but for me, it worked out just fine. And that's basically what we're aiming for is to get the mainstream mm -hmm. people who have never practiced before. So I think this was just right for them. Um, a little more about yourself. When you talk about, I know we introduced you as an Ayurveda uh, wellness counselor, Ayurveda <laughs> health counselor last time as well. And I know you are a trained counselor. Well, how is your practice? Where do you practice? How do you go about it? Mm. How can people get in touch with you for that? Sure. Um, so for the Ayurveda consulting that I do, I'll either meet with someone in their home or we'll meet at a coffee shop or somewhere where we could get some tea together and just chat. Um, but you can reach me at my website. It's just my name, melissaboo.com. Okay, there you go. You mm -hmm. have it right there on the screen. Mm -hmm. And also you're on Instagram as well. What do you, uh, do you convey your appointments or something? Like, uh, how, do you, how does Instagram work? I don't mm -hmm. even know. How do you? Yeah, I like to use it on. as um, kind of a photo diary for different okay, things that I'm okay. doing. Um, I also like to add some quotes because sometimes it's nice to just have a little two sentences of wisdom instead of a whole book <laughs> to right. have to read. It's nice <laughs> for the subway scroll. Um, and I like to add some stories to the Instagram stories. Um, so just showing my life, teaching yoga, environmental studies, and the Ayurveda. They all talk about the environment, inner and outer, and it's nice to link them all together. So basically, it makes up for the pages that you haven't yet added to your website. Your website is so beautiful and simple. I loved it. Thank you. I looked at it and I said, how did you get so much information? And I think it was just a couple of pages, but you have conveyed a lot. It was beautiful. So if much. I want to see more of what you're saying and doing, we can mm -hmm. go to Instagram, too. So you have bits and pieces and nuggets over there, too. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Uh, where else are you? Are you teaching yoga as well? I so do. Where? Yeah, I teach um, in Brooklyn at a studio right by Grand Army Plaza. Okay. And we do everything from, um, you know, I, I tend to go toward the slower practices right. anyway. Right. Cause I like it. We all lead such hectic lives. Yeah, it's nice to have, to. yeah, that opportunity to chill down and cool out. Right. Um, so yeah, we do everything from yoga nidra, which is a yogic sleep, right. to a more active uh, deep flow vinyasa, so getting into the um, the deeper expressions of different poses. So basically, together. helping us really get deeper in touch with our bodies. Totally, right. body and mind, meditation, body, mind, spirit. <laughs> yeah, and then at the time of airing, we're going to be closer to third week of July anyway. So I'm assuming you have something equal to what you showed me last week, right? Yes. What you shared with me last Monday. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, great. Yeah, so like uh, we did on last Monday, you know, we're working with uh, this kind of torso area of the body, right. the belly and the heart, which also means the shoulders and some twists for these internal organs right in the middle here. Okay. <laughs> so we'll do some variations of some of the stuff that we did last time too. Okay. Um, so to start, we'll find a comfortable seat. Find a cross leg position. You can maybe bring a blanket underneath the hips if this feels a little tight or uncomfortable on the low back. As always in yoga, we'll start by connecting with our breath. First, just noticing the quality of our breathing. In the summer heat, sometimes our hearts move a little quicker, or our breath becomes a little more shallow as we're trying to cool the body down. So we'll just take a moment to observe. And then begin to elongate the breath. Finding a deep inhale in through the nose, filling the belly and lungs. 
exhaling back out through the nose, drawing belly button in toward the spine, pushing all the stale air out. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. On your next inhale, draw the shoulders up toward the ears. Exhale, shoulders down the back. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, lower. Last round, inhale up. Exhale, lower. Let the head fall over toward the right shoulder, so drawing ear down toward the shoulder. We're stretching the side of the neck here, this left side. Option one, you can stay right here. We're going to go a little deeper. Extend the left fingertips down toward the ground. Whichever option you choose, one more breath. And then bring the head back to neutral, hand back to the left. Let the head fall over toward the left ear. Breathe here. Notice how you feel in the body. If you'd like, you can extend the right fingertips down toward the floor at your side. Release the fingertips. Bring the hand back to center. Head comes back to neutral, chin parallel to the floor. Send the right arm out in front of you. Just warming up the wrist, we'll begin to gently guide those fingers toward the body with left hand. You might feel that in that space right underneath the hand here. That's great. I would like that so much. Such a, a little movement. Um, Karen, we can come take it on the other side, too, with the left hand, fingertips toward the body. Right hand guides it back. This is very good for all of the typing we do on our phones right. or keyboards. Our wrists help us with so much. We want to be moving this way. Interlace the fingers together. Draw the elbows in toward each other. Already we can maybe begin to feel that in the shoulders as the shoulders hunch toward the front of the mat. You can also begin to take some small wrist rolls here. So just letting the hands fall in one direction and then the other. And moving in the opposite direction. Back to a still point at center. And extend the palms forward toward the front of the room, keeping the fingertips interlaced. Rest the hands forward, rounding the spine, drawing the belly in so that we can kind of take a cat pose here. On an inhale, draw the hands in toward the body, Gently lifting the collarbones and chest, our version of uh, cow pose, and exhale, round. Inhale, flow. Bending at the elbows, fingertips toward the heart. Exhale, round. Palms toward the front of the room. One more. Inhale in. Exhale round. Come back up to a neutral seat. Release the hands. Even shake the arms out. Let's get a 
giving them a break for a moment. Flying dance. Yeah, yeah there. <laughs> Lua. Um, we'll switch the cross <coughs> of our legs just so we can keep it even on both sides as we sit here. And when you're ready, we'll inhale the arms back up. Interlace the fingers. Send the palms up toward the ceiling. Draw shoulders down the back away from the ears. On an exhale, gently over toward the right side, grounding down through the left arm. Inhale, center. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, over. Inhale, center. Exhale, over. Inhale, center. This time, release the hands. Bring left hand over toward the right knee. Find a twist. Finding length in the spine, drawing the top of the head up toward the sky. On an exhale, you might even be able to twist a little more. Inhale, bring it all back to center, arms back up. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, find length. Exhale, twist. On an inhale, come back to center. Arms overhead. Exhale, hinge from the hips to fold forward and roll over the knees, finding child's pose. And however you need to get there, we'll all meet in child's pose. I invite you to take a small adjustment today, this time flipping the palms up toward the ceiling instead of pressing palms into the mat. It's a small motion, but it can help us to roll the shoulders down the back and find more opening. Bring the palms to touch into prayer hands. And you can stay here or begin to bend at the elbows, bringing the thumbs to the nape of the neck. Release the hands back down toward the floor and press your way up into tabletop. The hands and wrists come underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, draw the heart forward, let belly drop, tailbone lift, cow pose. Exhale, round the spine, pressing into the earth, drawing shoulder blades apart. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale to round. Inhale back up to a neutral spine, flat back. And we'll send the right toes behind us. Draw the right hip a little bit down toward the floor so that the hips are square. And keep bringing that heel down toward the mat. Rock forward and back here, opening up the muscles in the back of the legs. Inhale, lift the leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, replace the foot behind the left. So line it up with the left foot. And we'll raise our right arm up toward the ceiling for gait. Right. <laughs> yeah, so the sole oh, of the might foot. might mess it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, the sole of the foot comes to the floor. Got it. Okay. So 
balance, of course. Yeah, it, it is. It takes a lot. <laughs> I can't imagine a sage called Vasisht actually stayed like this for a very long time, apparently for a few years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we'll stay for one more second. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as far as I can do. And maybe bring the fingertips toward the front of the room so the arm comes over the ear. Oh. That's, That's <laughs> if you'd like. <laughs> Always options in yoga. And then spin the hand back down toward the floor. Replace right knee back to the ground. other side now. So when you're ready, sending left leg back. The toes are tucked. And then just gently rocking forward and back. I'm going to move a little bit further back on my mat. I do like this one if my head goes beyond this. Let's cut off. <laughs> You're on camera. <laughs> We'll come back to a still point. And then lift left leg up toward the ceiling. Replace left foot over toward the right side of the mat. Sole of the foot comes to the floor. Left arm lifts up and overhead. Our shoulders are stacked here in gait. By pressing into the back foot, it can help us to lift the hips a little to find stability. On an exhale, bring fingertips overhead so the arm rests over the ear. Full side body stretch. Rounding through outer edge of the back foot, reaching out through fingertips. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lower hand back down to the mat. Replace the left knee on the ground. Draw hips to heels for child's pose. When you're ready, come back up. Hand and knees. You did say when I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When Feels you're ready. so good. <laughs> and when you're ready, <laughs> we'll, we'll send the right leg back again, tucking the toes. Begin to lift left heel up toward the ceiling. And for some gentle warming, some gentle core work, we'll begin to lift left arm, reaching the fingertips out in front of us. I knew there was a trick. Well, couldn't be that easy, <laughs> huh? <laughs> right hip might pop up a little bit here. See if you can draw it down toward the floor while still reaching, reaching through hand and foot. And then gently lower down. We'll come to the other side. Left toes tuck. Left leg lifts. Right arm extends forward. Draw your right hand back down to the mat. Left knee comes to meet it. Tuck the toes to lift up and back for down dog pose. So you can pedal out through the feet here. Very well might be your first down dog pose of the day. Just waking up the muscles in the backs of the legs. Begin to walk the feet toward the hands at the front of the mat. And find forward fold. Let the head and the neck hang heavy. Grab opposite elbows. And begin to gently rock from side to side. Almost as if you're drawing the elbows all the way toward the outer edge of the foot. We'll meet back in center. Release the hands and tuck the tailbone as we slowly roll back up. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands 
heart center. Inhale, arms up. And we'll take left wrist and right hand and over toward the right corner. Feeling that side body stretch, rounding through the hip while the shoulder lifts up and over. Inhale back to center. Switch your grip. Exhale to the other side. Arms back up, release center. Exhale, swan dive forward. Arms can be out to the side as you hinge toward the ground. Inhale, come up for a half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step right foot back, left foot back, down dog. Inhale, right leg up toward the sky. Exhale, bring foot between the hands. Lower down the back heel. Squeeze the thighs together. Engage the low belly to help you lift arms up. And open. Warrior two pose. Inhale, arms up. Straighten the front leg. We'll flip our toes, as they say. So bringing the right toes in, and pointing the left toes toward the back of the room or the back of your mat. Open out the arms. Come to triangle pose. Ribcage shifts forward in space toward the left side. Left hand down toward the leg. Right arm lifts up and over. triangle pose, it's not as important to get your hand down toward the ground as it is to stack the hips on top of each other. So if you find the right hip coming forward as you reach down, maybe draw it up and back in space. The arm will lift a little bit higher up to the leg. Swing your right hand down toward the floor. We'll take a wide-legged forward fold. So hands come underneath the face, and left toes can draw in to be parallel to the front foot. Bring right toes forward toward the front of the mat. Bend the knee, lift back up for warrior two. hands behind the back, taking what's called a reverse prayer pose. So a couple options, and I'll turn so you can see at home. You can either bring the hands to this reverse prayer, grab opposite elbows, or hold on to wrists. All perfectly wonderful shoulder opening options. Keep sinking down through the hips. Ready, you can release, framing the front foot, spinning onto the ball of back foot. Lift up and back for down dog. Option to step or hop the feet toward the front of the mat. Oh, I'm going to step <laughs> here on our. Yeah, the hop is not arm. happening. <laughs> And when you're ready, roll back up to stand. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, plant. Inhale, flat back. And from here, we'll step the left foot back, right foot back, down dog.
inhale, left leg up toward the sky. And then bring the foot between the hands. We'll spin the back heel down toward the floor. Squeeze the thighs together. Lift up and open for warrior two. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Lift toes toward the side wall. And then take triangle toward the back. I Down know. to the last little bit. That's right. On behalf of my team, while we are still marinating in these postures, I'd like to thank our crew. First of all, Nouriel and Lucas, thank you so much for staying there with us, and Ryan as well. The studio logo looks great with this kind of lighting. All of us would like to thank Melissa Boo. Stay in touch. When the credits come at the end, you know how to get in touch with Melissa. You are watching Yoga Express. Am I still in triangle? <laughs>